Hey, what's up, Saul Strong family? This is Pat Ogletree, and in this video, I'm gonna show you a way that you can finish your FG knot up to where it's not gonna come unraveled, it's super strong, and you'll even be able to cast it through the guides. So I'm gonna show you the, the setup that I've got right here. This right here is gonna be your main line that's coming up from the reel. This is gonna be your leader that's going down to the hook. And what I did was I went ahead just to save time, is I went from the point to where you're done with the twist. Now I will link some videos down below so if you've got any questions on how to get to this point or how to tie the FG knot in general you can watch those videos but to save time I'm going to start this at the point where we ended up with our twist. Okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start out by taking our first our tag end and doing our first half hitch knot and I'm going to go over the top of the braid. So we're going to do this. We're going to go over and then we're going to grab that and then we're gonna pull that tight. I'm gonna to try to keep my uh, my thumb and my forefinger on the top there to guide that knot down. And once we get that knot tight right there, uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our main line and we're gonna grab the leader and we're gonna go ahead and pull that down. We're gonna cinch it really, really tight. And this is what's gonna lock those coils into place on top of that leader material. Now to keep these coils from slipping, you're gonna do uh, a finish knot and I'll show you how to do the finish knot that is gonna keep this in place. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this all in place. Now, if you remember what we did was we started that first knot by going over the top. Now what we're gonna do with the second knot is we're actually gonna start by going underneath and then we're gonna tie that that way. Go ahead and cinch that down right there. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a series of these alternating half hitches. And the reason why we're doing it that way is every time that you go over the top and then followed by under the knee, underneath it, it's gonna lock those, those knots into place. It's gonna lock those half hitches into place. And then each one that you're gonna do, you're gonna go ahead and pull and cinch down tight on it, but not too tight. You don't wanna disfigure the top of that knot and make it, uh, make it kind of S-shaped. Uh, so the first one was was uh, over the top, the next one was underneath. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over the top again. Go ahead and get that going there. We're gonna tighten this down. Now notice how I pulled it and it kind of went to the back of that knot. That's why you'll want to uh, hold it at the top of the knot and then keep your half hitch from climbing down that knot and wind up winding up at the bottom. Uh, because if you cinch it down at the bottom, then it'll wind up, uh, you'll have to start the knot all over again. Uh, so that was over the top, and then now we're gonna go underneath. So we're gonna go here, and then underneath one time, and that's it. What we did was we wound up with four alternating half hitches that is going to lock each one in its place and it's not going to go anywhere. So we're going to tighten that down. Then I'm going to give it a little pull right there, tighten that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and tag the trim end of this knot down, which is right here, as close as we can. There we go. So every time that you make that cut, you want to give it a quick pull to make sure that uh, you didn't nick any of those lines, either one of those lines, because you don't want to find out the hard way that, uh, you know, you nick that line when you go to set that hook on that big fish. So at this point, once you tag that, uh, once you trim that tag end, it is ready to go. So at this point, what I like doing is I'm going to make that transition a little bit smoother, and then I'm going to do a couple of half hitches around this single main line. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna make that knot have a better transition from the main line to the, uh, to the actual beginning of the knot. And you still wanna do the same thing. You still wanna to try to hold on to the end of that knot so you don't uh, have that half, hitch climb, that half hitch climb over the top of it. So we'll go ahead and do that one. And we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna, we're gonna alternate. Uh, we, went, um, we went under that one. Now we're gonna go over this one. Let's grab that before we tighten that down. There we go. And then each one I'm going to pull, give it a little bit of a, a little pull, tighten that down. And then now we've got a couple of half hitches on the top that is going to lock that and make that transition even smoother. Now you can continue this up. You can do a couple more if you want to, but I feel that that is plenty. So every time that I do this, I'm gonna go ahead and give this a pull and make sure that everything is in place like it should be. And then I'm gonna go ahead and trim my tag ends and take my tool right here. 
We're gonna trim this right here. We're gonna trim this kind of close so uh, it'll be as smooth as possible. And there you go. You have got a finished FG knot right there uh, that is strong enough for you to cast through the guides. Now, one point that I will say is you wanna watch that tag end right there. And if that tag end starts to get longer and longer on your cast, that means your knot is unraveling. You wanna stop and retie that. Now you can cast this through the guides. And uh, I'll tell you what, I've been doing it for about four years now. And I can't tell you the last time I've had an FG knot failure, especially after I started finishing it that way. So if you're interested in videos like this that tells you all about these knots and how to tie them, we have a whole knot library at saltstrong.com. Not only do we have videos on how to tie them, we also have a whole page that tells you which ones were the strongest out of all the knots that we've tried. And that's all done by a machine that was built specifically for testing knots. Pretty cool. For more information, go to saltstrong.com and I'll put the link down below to that knot library so you can go right to the page. As always, thanks for watching. I really do appreciate it. And if you got any questions or comments, put those down below and I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. And if you've got a favorite knot that you like to tie or a different way that you like to finish this FG knot, put those down in the comments below. I'd like to read those too. And if you're new to Salt Strong, just know that we are the best online fishing club in America, where we guarantee that you'll catch more fish in less time, save money on all the inshore tackle that you need, and make friends fast, or it's free. For more information, go to saltstrong.com. And until then, we hope to see you in the Insider community soon.